Check this out, guys. But you've never seen something like this on an iPhone. Here we go. In three, two, one. Boom. Disco in your hands. How cool is that? What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. You guys know on this channel I do iPhone mods every once in a while. Personally, my favorite being the glowing Apple logo mod on the jet black iPhone 7 Plus. I'm working on that on the new iPhone 10, and I've got the clear glass back mod done. But in this video, I wanted to show you a new generation of a mod never completed before on an iPhone. It's hitting the streets in China, the latest trend. Can you guess what it is? So people have replaced the shells of their phones. Uh, they've even done glowing Apple logos. You know, what else is there left to do? There's the red iPhone with the black display that looks pretty cool uh, but in terms of like tech geekiness what else is there to do let me show you the new generation of mods check this out guys so the speaker glowing speaker mod check this out boom you got a visual synchronizer visualizer for music that is pretty cool I guess completely unnecessary but cool let me turn the lights out real quick and there is that surprisingly very very bright let me turn the lights out completely and check this out guys so the louder it gets the brighter it starts working it's kind of interesting how it works and I'll show you guys that in just a second but you know what do you guys think is that is that kind of cool unnecessary it gets pretty bright almost like a flashlight so if you want to be spotted at night uh, this is another way to do it alongside the glowing Apple logo so pretty neat I'd say cool that it syncs with the music and obviously it turns off when that's not playing it only works when there's power to the speaker so I'm showing you guys this on an iPhone 6s but you can do it on a 7 7 plus you know pretty much any device and I've got this spare iPhone from my black mod I replaced the screen it's kind of uh, seen better days that's for sure but I'm gonna go ahead and do this mod on it show you guys how it's done on an iPhone 7 plus if you guys want to do it it is actually unbelievably easy to install this uh, whether or not you want to do that you know that's that's your uh, choice but it is kind of neat, you know, something different, I guess. And uh, we may not share that opinion, but I thought it was pretty interesting. The LEDs are super, super bright. That's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unbox the actual unit. I'll show you how it works, what it looks like, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it on an iPhone 7 Plus. All right, and here is the actual box. So, believe it or not, I actually had a trial and error with this where it didn't work the first time. I I rushed it, kind of broke the connectors. The actual cost of one of these is like $5, so they are super cheap. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's basically a flex cable with LEDs on the bottom that go into the speaker ports. And on the iPhone 7 Plus, there's a separating cable here. And there is that, so just so you guys can see. Uh, this goes uh, underneath the speaker. So it uses the same terminal as the speaker to power it. That means there's no soldering involved. It's a very simple installation and it uses the speaker power. So when you're not using the speaker, this takes zero extra energy. And even when it is activated, it doesn't take that much energy. It's literally just a few LEDs. So not a big deal, but we're gonna go ahead and open up the 7 Plus and install it. For other devices, it's gonna look like this. So just very, very simple, one little flex cable. I install it on my 6S within five minutes, believe it or not, I'm very proficient at it. But uh, if you guys do it on a newer device like a 7 Plus, you wanna get a waterproof seal so you can reinstall that and keep the water resistance. I'm not too worried about that because mine's already busted up. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and take it apart. All right, proper tools make this much easier. So we're gonna take the pentalobe screws and remove the bottom. Oh, and of course, do turn your phone off before attempting this. That is priority here. Using this little pry tool, we're gonna pry the screen up, separate it, and remove it from the housing. On a 7, 7 Plus, remember it does open up to the right, so that way you don't accidentally tear any cables. You wanna be very careful. I've literally ripped the screen off in a fit of rage before. Okay, not rage, just without patience. I opened it up, but you wanna do it very gently. There's usually a seal that's kind of holding it back up there and open it up to the side. So the thing is, you don't even need to remove anything really. All you need to do is get at the speaker. So using a Phillips screw or the bits, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of them associated with the speaker. So that means this one right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. Actually, there's only four, one, two, three, four. So just go ahead and remove those real quick and remember their positions as they are different lengths. All right, so I got that out. Go ahead and pry the speaker out. All right, and out that goes. So you don't have to actually unplug that. It 
literally just gonna go right here. And there's one more thing you need to unscrew and that would be this little plastic piece here. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew these two little uh, bolts and this little plastic piece needs to come out. So it's just gonna look just like that. So next up you guys actually want to remove these little plastic uh, pieces on the bottom. It's for the microphone and the speaker grill. That's what that looks like. You literally just pry them out, do it gently. And beneath this is where we're gonna go ahead and put the actual LEDs. And they are on seals, so they take a little bit of wiggling to come out. You wanna make sure not to rip the little uh, microphone cable that goes on it, but that comes out just like that. Okay, and do the same for the other side. So we're gonna wiggle this one out here. Oh, it just broke that. Whoops, don't do that, don't be me. Okay, and out that comes, just like that. All right, so what you're gonna do now is go ahead and remove the LEDs from the package. And this process is pretty simple, but you still wanna be very delicate, take your time. These wires are very thin, separating the two LEDs, so I would be very careful with them. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna nestle the LEDs perfectly into the slot. It's gonna be kinda hard to show, but we wanna pop them down in there and they'll fit nice and snug once they get into the speaker holes. And you're gonna plug this connector in right here and tape it down with the little uh, tape strips they give you in the package. And you wanna make sure it's very snug, sitting exactly on the connectors as that's the power source right there and do the same to the other side. So I'm gonna do this real quick. It does take some attention and I'll show you the finished result. All right, so I just did the left side. Basically, uh, you pop the LEDs in, then nestle the plastic back on top of it, seal the waterproofing seal. And then you wanna go ahead and do the same to the other side. So this needs to nestle into the speaker grill. It's kinda hard to do this when I'm trying to demonstrate it. But you wanna make sure that the LEDs line up with the speaker grills as there is one LED per speaker grill for maximum effect here. I mean, you really wanna commit to this LED stuff want it to look good. So there we go, position them in there. And now we just go ahead and tape down the connector with the little provided strips. So it sits evenly on there. All right, and here's the finished result. So basically I didn't use the strips. I decided to go with a little piece of scotch tape on it and it basically sits taped down, LEDs in there. Uh, these wires we're gonna leave on top. Basically go ahead and reinstall the speaker, but before you screw it in, we wanna make sure that everything is working. All right, and that pops back into place. So now go ahead and power it on and we're gonna test the music app. Alrighty guys, ready to go, so let's test it out. Remember, the louder it is, the better. Ooh. Look at that, so we got them all working. We know it's good. Let's go ahead and seal it up and uh, basically pop the top in, the bottom. And again, I wanna make sure it's working. It's a little finicky, just takes a little uh, playing around until you get the connections there. All right, boys, let's go ahead and turn something a little booming on here so you guys can see the flashing. And uh, of course, it looks better when the lights are darker, let me turn them out. Yeah, the more banging the music, the more you're really gonna hear it. Look at that, that's pretty dang cool. It is super bright actually, like you'd be surprised. Now you turn it down and past a certain volume, they just don't work because it doesn't get enough voltage and it works off of a certain amount. So you literally have to be at 80% or more for it to start working. It's kind of weird, so. Uh, that's kind of cool at least, so you don't have to have it on always. It only works when you really, really turn it up. So that way the music's banging, the lights are on, you know, you got a full disco here. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. It really does illuminate the ground. Check that out. <laughs> so honestly, I like this mod a lot more now that I've actually installed it, saw how easy it was to do that and use it. I mean, for a newer phone, yeah, I'd, I'd kind of be wary about opening my phone up, but dang, that is... Pretty cool, pretty neat. I'm liking the fact that it only works at 80% or more. Now it's not limited to just uh, music, but it's it's gonna work much better in music. Let me play a YouTube video real quick. By the way, it's not limited to just music. Check this out. So with ringtones, it'll work as well. It'll flash with your ringtones. That's kind of interesting. So you can literally just have your phone sitting on a desk, receive a call, well, something a little bit more. Yeah, there we go and it's gonna go off with it. So I thought that's pretty cool. Nice little side effect of that one. And it, it syncs very, very well because it's down and wired to it. So 
it's gonna accurately portray you know, the visualizer for that sound. All right, so video is a bit interesting. It does flash, and I could see this getting annoying during video when you don't want it. I couldn't help but realize there are so many oversights and features that Apple didn't add that they should have. So Again, you take it down a couple notches, and it basically uh, stops turning on. So about here, kind of like a little bit. If it's loud, yeah, it's going to work. Superfluous. You can just swipe over to get into the does give it does give your hand this really interesting illumination. But uh, there it is, guys. So I just thought that was an interesting mod. And it does get a bit tedious. Something a little different, but if you guys wanted it, you can definitely install it for five dollars if you do the work yourself. Um, it's cool with music, and I like that it works only past a certain threshold. So it has to be pretty loud for you to hear it. But yeah. That is cool, I like it. So I would say I approve only if you don't care about your warranty and you wanna look, uh, you wanna bring attention to your phone because this certainly will and much more than an Apple logo would. But still, pretty cool. All right, guys, just want to say thanks for watching. That is how to do it if you wanted to. Uh, much cooler than I thought. Once again, just a uh, re really nice result. I didn't think I'd like it. I thought it'd be kind of unnecessary, and it still is, but it looks a lot more legitimate than I thought it would. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for more videos down the road. Peace.